Hey, what's up guys? My name is Sass and welcome back to another episode of Dirty Bomb. Today we are playing a little bit with Thunder because he recently got a buff slash rework. Not really a buff because they also took away his EMP effect when you throw at the concussion grenade. Let's see, I do... Ooh, not that. Am I already... So yeah, with the nice cobalt to make really, really, really cool grenades. Let's throw that. So yeah, that sucked. So we are off to a really bad start. But yeah, like I was saying, they did do a rework slash buff, uh, the concussion grenade. Now, uh, it, the fuse time is a little bit slower, so it will explode faster, which I don't really know if that's a good thing or not, because in this game you don't have the uh, mechanic like I just did. Like you have in other games, so... Can we quickly kill that guy? Yes, we can. Can we kill her as well? Nope, because he is freaking fast. Going for the knife fight. Why the f... Okay, that was epic. <laughs> what the fuck? I have to say, lol. So it looks like we are playing with the clan, a full clan. Yeah, uh, divided up into two teams, though. So his fuse time was a little bit shorter, he called an increase in uh, health by 10, 10 hit points. He also reduced uh, Frega's health pool by 10, so he had 150, now he has 140. I don't really know why they did that, oh, that was a pronate. <laughs> but yeah, now it's also uh, actually... Uh, slows the enemy down. Uh, and they can't jump as high, so can we? But yeah, the thing that they removed the EMP is just really, really annoying. And now they have like added it to Phoenix. Uh, and when you use him, you have an actual like uh, ring around you. Nope. That indicates where you can uh, disable enemy equipment and stuff. So yeah, how is everybody's equipment case? Luck going with the uh, case of May Day. Case of May, May Day. May Day? I don't know. Mine hasn't been too awful. Actually, I have to uh, open today's case still, so. Why are you knifing Bratta? Why is my aim so on That was absolutely awful. We should get an arsenal crate at this level. I should be level 28. Uh, that's another thing they added now where you can see uh, how much XP you need in game. So that's really nice. Can we. Oh, shouldn't have thrown there. And I'm blind myself. Can we get really with our last bullet? Yes, we can. Okay, quickly grab some ammo. But yeah, now you can see how much XP you need in the just the main menu. Before you could only see it after a game, which uh, I think is really nice. Doesn't really add too much to the game, but it is kind of nice. Why is everybody going for the knives? Thank you, Skyammer, you saved my life. Can you give some ammo? Some ammo, please. Nope, okay. Friday right now, the Indie Wednesday stream, they, said, uh, they gave a lot of information again. Uh, really hard for me, because I... I don't really want to watch the streams because they take too long. Uh, but if I don't, like the amount of information you miss, holy shit, is so ridiculous. Stun them. Uh, so they gave a lot of information again. Uh, I asked the question about community skins, and Rangel actually answered it, and they said it was a really cool idea, and they have thought about it, but it is a lot of work. Definitely not something that has been uh, is been planned for like uh, the coming future. Can we quickly kill her? Yes, we can. Should I? Is there a medic? Nope. So unfortunately, no community skins uh, as far as we are uh, concerned at the moment. Maybe in a couple months we'll see them. Highly doubt it. Uh, but it was something they uh, were interested in doing. So yeah, I also have decided that for every gold slash and or cobalt I get in the free cases, the expert cases those are, I will buy a 10-pack, so 
after uh, around two days, weeks, I mean two weeks, I will buy hopefully at least one or two 10 packs. That is only if I get a few golds or cobalts. Nope, that doesn't work. If I don't, I won't buy any 10 packs. Ah, shit. Thank you. So yeah, there is a reason that, that I don't do these live comps too often because I fucking suck at doing these. Also, I feel like the quality isn't as good, like the voice quality. I don't know. But uh, let's see, I written a lot of stuff down. Right after the update, I went uh, through the game files like I always do, basically. And I found a uh, cool splitter uh, trinket. Really, really cool. And I immediately posted it on the forums. And Regil actually answered um, one of the, the replies, the posts. So he said uh, it was a good idea. And the people had a lot of ideas, of course, about how they should implement it. I don't know if it's an actual thing because that's literally the, like the trinket card is the only thing that's uh, actually in there. So uh, not the actual trinklet overlay, nothing like a store font or anything. I couldn't find anything, so I don't know if it's something they wanted to do. But uh, like I said, the strange thing is that they only added it in the uh, since the recent update, not before. So it's not like a scrapped plan. Oh shit, that would have been nice. So we might or might not see that. Uh, then I did play actually the tutorial. It is refreshing. It's definitely better than the last one. Uh, it gives you a little bit of more information. But still some very, very crucial things I think are lacking. Like uh, the longer you, you hold your revive pets, the more health the person will get. That's, they don't say that. They do also don't say that you can't repair uh, with two teammates at the same time. No mine, uh, grenade. So, still some things that don't really uh, get explained uh, very well or at all. Which I think is really uh, kind of a shame. But having said that, the tutorial is definitely a lot better than it was. I did play for fun, didn't get anything unfortunately, but... Let's see, can we... I'm really low on ammo. Don't know why I did that shit. Uh, also the timed course or the assault course or whatever they want to call it. I, at first I thought it was bugged or they wanted to implement it in the next thing. Apparently you have to play at least one game and then it gets unlocked. So uh, I played it a couple times. It is a lot of fun. It can be really frustrating. At least I think uh, if you miss like a target or you throw the airstrike. Ah, I keep flashing myself. And uh, if you miss the airstrike marker that just really sucks. I don't know how I should feel about the rework of Thunder. I mean, they took away the ZMP. I think it's that's really that sucks. I mean, uh, I've had a couple instances in this game that, where that would have been awesome, like that, and the death before this. I think. Yeah, can we get him? No, two people. Two per nope. <laughs> nice. No, no. Can we? No! So like I was saying about a minute ago, the uh, assault course is a lot of fun. Like I said, it can be really, really frustrating as well. Um, I think I won't really play it anymore because there is a, there is just no point. It doesn't save your stats or anything. I do believe. I don't think you get anything from it. It is fun to play it for a couple times. Uh, I did get Cobalt, but that is because it is actually bugged at the moment. Because I got a score of, I believe, like 1600s or, I don't know, ridiculous, uh, ridiculous amount. Medic? No, no, okay. Nice, nice, nice. No. So the assault core seems to be bugged. A lot of people uh, said actually on the forums that they got like insanely high scores. Some people even didn't do shit, literally just didn't do jumps and shit. They got still uh, cobalt, so we don't know what's up with that. Let's actually get the fuck out of there. Can we get this? Yay. I feel like I knew I'm doing really poorly. Especially since uh, most people are extremely low level. Oh. 
Kom op, reload, reload. No, that was not smart. Oh, nice. Okay. I'd like to think I distracted them for long enough. So let's see. Hopefully we get our first arsenal crate. This game should. I have also an insane amount of credits. 102,000. So let's see. Um, did we get it? Does it show here? Or do you have to go unstoppable? Yeah, no. So the recording stopped because I went back to the main menu, but that's not a problem. We got our first arsenal crate. You've unlocked a special reward for dedication, dedicated of Dirty Bomb. I totally messed up. Okay, fuck that. Let's actually take a quick look at these. So they released the stats for these. Um, let's actually just uh, go with this. Hopefully something good, of course. Uh, my case look hasn't been awesome. So maybe my case case look is better. Hey. <sighs> Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Elite case B, I would have rather seen AA, but that doesn't matter, we got a freaking elite case. So let's open the uh, expert one first. Like I said, any golds and cobalts, I will buy a 10 pack. So here we go. Life should be awesome. Hopefully gold, doesn't really matter what we get. It is a gen 2. Nope, it's definitely going bronze. A nice stoker. The M92, which... Has the M4, the Smith and Matchman, Stiletto, Stiletto, Focus, Guardian Angel, and Extra Supply Switch. Not a big fan of these augments actually. And of course, the skin is just shit, but I don't have anything higher. I do believe for Stoker, at least not with the M4. So let's go and open our first free Elite Case from leveling up. At least guaranteed, of course, a silver. If we get a gold, that would be so nice. Nope, it's going to be Fletcher. Yes. Okay. Mm. So the A62 with uh, Carbon, the Null 12, the Simeon, which just that alone is just shit. Fail safe spares and quick draw. I do believe I have this exact card already in gen 1 we can actually take a quick look uh, there we go a62 a62 yeah so they did change let's actually take a look quick look they did change uh, here you had sneaky now is feel safe which is better spares instead of cool definitely better and still quick draw on both cards so that was basically uh, the episode please leave a like if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already let me know which merc you want to see in the next gameplay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.